We shall now move on to the next chart in hematology. The clinical history can be like this. Common in young children, onset is insidious. There can be lymphadenopathy and hepatosplenomegaly. These are certain important things. And when I see the chart, I'll be finding that there are large immature cells which are about three to four times the size of the RBC. The nucleus is large. All the blue color is the nucleus. There might be a cleavage. Look at this one. And the cytoplasm is not that abundant in excessive. So that means the nuclear cytoplasmic ratio is almost four is to five. Some cells are small, some are large, but even the small cells are larger than RBC. This is a typical example, such a chart can be given for us. So I'm finding a relatively small cell and a large cell, but all are larger than the RBC. These pale areas are the nucleoli, but not very conspicuous, as in a case of myeloblast. So this is a case of an acute lymphoblastic leukemia. This particular chart I have covered in my theory also. Even now I have given so that you do memorize it. There are three types and what are the differences between the three you shall mention. So this will be the most important thing. In this, I am finding that there are about the WBCs alone I shall concentrate. The count will be increased from 20,000 to even up to 2 lakhs. There are three types and there is a lymphoblast which has got a large nucleus and the nuclear cytoplasmic ratio is 4 is to 5. There are three types, L1, L2 and L3. L1 will be uniform small cells, L2 mixture of small and large cells, L3 will be uniform large cells. So this is the FAB classification and the WHO classification, kindly go through it. More than 20% blast in the peripheral blood, 30% in the bone marrow is indicative of an acute leukemia. Platelets are reduced. More common in children, no organs. So the diagnosis is acute lymphoblastic leukemia. I hope it is clear for you people.